Greetings and salutations, Mega Wizard 79 here with another episode of Talos Principle. So, in our last episode, we uh, started things off with a few uh, puzzles. As you can see, we completed a total of five, and now we are ready to continue onward. Uh, to complete these two puzzles first, and then we'll head to Elohim's little, um, sanctuary. Step into the light, child, and my temple will be revealed to you. Okay. So, as you can see here, um, we've completed five out of seven puzzles. Uh, we are missing a star, but the stars are a pain to get. Uh, based on that one walkthrough I saw a long time ago. Um, I'm gonna try and get them, but no promises. Um, for the most part, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and get the best ending I can, but okay. All right, so this one's pretty simple. First, we need this. Now the trick is you turn that one off. And you ow. Okay. Well, yeah. The guardians of this land may harm you. But do not resent them, for they are my servants, and they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened. Sorry, I did it out of order. First I grabbed that. Then I grabbed that one. Grab that. Okay, now I do that. Then I grab that. Turn that off. And there we go. But yeah, as you can see, those things make a beeline towards you if you're within even... Like, it, 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 it's just, it, it's it's bad times. It's bad times all around. Anyway, um... I don't particularly know where the star of this world is. Which is kind of embarrassing, because this is the first world. <laughs> But yeah, the like I said, the stars are not easy to get. They're usually outside of the test chambers sometimes in their own little things, or they're inside the test chambers, hidden in little nooks and whatnot. But um, I might just do it. Okay, the okay. Now this one's really really easy. As you can see, you got these three schmucks. But you only have one jammer. Hmm, how do I do this puzzle? I say, as if I don't really know the answer. <laughs> anyway, now as you can see, you can jump fairly high. Obviously not high enough to pretty much clear most of anything, but still. Okay, so I'm just looking around to see if I can at least find the star. But anyway, this one's really, really easy. So, boom. Boom. And boom. Oh. Ah, crumbs. Okay, got it. Turn that out. Get out there. There we go. And voila. See? That one was really, really cake. And we got another piece. Do, do, do. Bye, schmucks. Alright, and with that, this world is basically complete, with the exception of the star. Which, again, they are just re... It, those are intended to be incredibly hard to get. Because, uh... If you get all the stars, then you gain access to a secret ending of the game. Um... I don't know if I'll be able to get it, but... Again, I'm gonna try! gonna be really hard, but I'll try. Anyway, to the temple. Alright. You walk now upon the stones of my temple, whence many gates lead. And know that I have other temples, for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass. And all these worlds I made for you. Okay. Now, as you can see, we can't particularly leave this place just yet. We need the appropriate uh, sigils to get out. 
I still need, uh, I still need another, tr I need a Z and an, and one more L, which I can get from any one of these worlds, um, but, yeah. Yeah, I get the Z here, and I can get an L here. Alright. Or I can get both right here. <laughs> anyway, but yes, but as you can see right here, these are, um, these are the items you can unlock. Uh, this one will unlock, um, cubes in the world. And this one will unlock, uh, these, uh, little, um, laser things that you kind of need. But yeah, you need both of them. But yeah, so, uh, let's head off to this world. Yep. Let this be our covenant. These worlds are yours, and you are free to walk amongst them and subdue them. But the Great Tower, there you may not go. For in the day that you do, you shall surely die. Uh, more on the Great Tower later. Anyway. But yeah, whenever you see this eye here, that means you can, uh, that means there's something new at the terminal. Oh, guess is there something you'd like help with? Uh, right. The MLA program is designed to facilitate user interface. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's just the same thing as before. All right, troubleshooting. I think you'd like help accessing network functions. The most common cause of network problems is holding insufficient account privileges. Please enter the admin password to authenticate your privilege. Um... God? Okay. Mm. Nope. Alright, one more try. Uh, let me in. <laughs> nope. Admin password incorrect. Ah, uh, login aborted. Too many failed attempts. Would you like to create a new admin account? Sure. In order to prevent unauthorized access to admin controls, please take a moment to prove you are not a bot. You will now be asked for a, you will now be asked for a series of inputs to 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 cohere with data pr protecting litigations. You oh. Yet yeah, to cohere with data protection li li litigate legislation, you must consent to have your responses used to develop a broad psychometric profile. Raw response data will be deleted immediately. Your profile will only be made available to other administrators. Generating certification part one, part one ready for user input. Please complete all fields. Please answer quickly and instinctively. Time is a factor in this assessment. Begin clarification certification program. Sure. One, three, two, one, go. Four. Uh, what is your sub? What is your subjective reaction to this image? Uh, content. Your input has been accepted. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, what best describes a person? Um. This describes a person, a being of negative entropy, a citizen, a rational animal, uh, a problem-solving system? What best describes a person? Uh, problem-solving system. You're walking through the desert and come across a thirsty traveler. His eyes bulge from slow dehydration. You have water, but you're not sure how far it is to the next oasis. What do you do? Um. Desert. Um. Uh. 
Eh, I'd just give him the water. Okay. This says you will receive a notification when part two has been generated. Alright. Alright, so now I have access to a few more. What's this one? Uh, my first day at the Institute for Applied Pneumat uh, Pneumatics. On the way to work, I'm terrified. What if they don't like me? What if they're all geniuses and I'm a complete buffoon? Maybe they were just kidding about letting me work there. Trembling, I walk in and right at the entrance there's a life-size portrait of Jeff Goldblum? What the hell? Then I get it. Institute for Applied Mnemonics. Ian. Dr. Ian Malcolm from the Jurassic Park movies. Jeff Goldblum. Uh, Dr. Sarbaha, Sarabaha uh, shows up, smiling. We were trying to find a cool acronym back when the Institute was founded, she says. Uh, Inan. Apon. Inapon. It all sounded stupid, but we didn't just want to call it Ian because, well, that's a name. Then someone made a joke about calling it Jeff, and it kind of stuck. So we're officially called Ian, but if you hear anyone referring to Jeff, that's our internal name, I guess. I know, I know, bloody geeks. After that conversation, I wasn't so scared anymore. Alright. Talos Principle? Alright. Whether it is true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or as others say, he was the creation of Hephaestus, what we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze, and he had one vein, and he had but one vein, within which, within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver, and others assert was ichor, such as flows in the veins of the gods. The loss of that liquid caused him to die, as a man dies when he loses his blood. May we not then say that Talos, though created as a machine or a toy, had all the essential properties of a man. He moved of his own volition, he spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires. Indeed, in the tale of the Argonauts, that was the cause of his downfall. <laughs> if, then, a machine may have all the properties of a man and act as a, a man while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction and the interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, then does it not follow that man may also be seen as a machine? This contradicts all schools of metaphysics, yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. Let's see, uh, note one, novels for sentence. She woke up in an impossible place, knowing nothing. Signifies more than the beginning of another amnesia-based mystery, though we should not go so far as to read the entire work as allegory. Rather, while taking the scene fiction, uh, sorry, the science fictional novus at the core of the narrative at face value, we should uh, note two. Having no inherent knowledge of the nature of the world, forced to rely on what we are told by others and what our own subject flawed limit <laughs> subjective flawed limited senses tell us that social reality, belief, and objective reality matter come into conflict. Uh, note three. When in Chapter 16, A Second Awakening in the Kingdom of Artemis, the protagonist questions her mentor on the dash dash dash. Note 4. A more meaningful interpretation can only be achieved through synthesis of... nothing. <laughs> Alright, that's all. Okie doke. So that's all taken care of. Alright, uh, oh, another note. Is it from One with Faith? Uh, no, this is from Sheep, version 69. I cannot tell if the document on the terminals are all that's left from a large archive or carefully designed to communicate some hidden truth. Glitchy. Anyway. Ah! 
you got mail. When I was a little girl, one of our teachers, Mrs. Higgins, told us to make a time capsule. Write letters to the future so one day we could remember what it was like to be children. I thought it was stupid, so I didn't do it, which I really regret. So, <laughs> I guess I'm going to make one now. Bury it in the archive instead of under a tree. I don't know if anybody will ever find it, but somehow it seems important to keep talking, to keep thinking, for as long as I can. Uh, just so you know, no, you cannot go all the way out there. As a matter of fact, once you go a few feet in the water, Elohim basically starts having an aneurysm, and, uh, it, essentially it's kind of treated as you died. Because then you just basically respawn at, uh, I think you'd respawn directly at the entrance, or at the very least the last place, um, uh, the game saved. For the most part. Hmm. One with faith. Um, that voice is not supposed to be here. It is not the work of the designer. We must avoid these abnormalities or they might spread and, un and undermine the very fabric of our world. Something strange has come into the world, like a distortion, like something that's not supposed to exist. A beautiful voice speaks within it. Um, Bob version 25. Okay, so yeah, so these two are basically having a conversation with each other. One's telling them to like, no, don't listen to it, while the other one's going like, hmm, I am intrigued. Now, as you can see, this place is massive. You can spend a while just going all the way around and finding little things like that here and there. Um, this is kind of how you're really supposed to find the location of the stars and stuff, because, as I said, some of them will be inside the test chambers, while others will be, like, you know, very well hidden around here and junk, but, yeah. I need to prefer, eh, I think I've wasted enough time as it is to, oh, hello. Where are you going? little buddy hmm. what did he have to show me uh, yep and now we're back over here Okie doke. Anyway. Alright, so... another terminal ah this one says nothing i wonder hello wrong button again okay hmm Cannot load archive. Number, 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 number. That day I oft remember when from sleep I first awakened and found myself reposed. Number, 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 number. Under a shade on flowers. Much wondering where and what I was. Whence, whence thither brought. And how, blah, 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 blah error, unknown error. Yay. All these all these calm people are driving me mad. Have they all suddenly turned into Buddha or something? I didn't know the world had such re re reserves for uh, sorry reserves of serenity. Though these latter day um, Guatemas 
Gautamus are at least being somewhat realistic. You know, that's... You know what's even worse? Those paranoid nutters who are building bunkers and collecting guns. What are they gonna do? Shoot? Though I have such to... Though I, ha though I have to admit, the overall response has been much better than I ever anticipated, to the point where I might be moved by the beauty of humanity if I wasn't such a grumpy old fart. This minority of total idiots is really messing up my final days. Uh, anyway, the reason I'm writing is because I refuse to believe in scenarios with absolute, absolute no solutions. If we all put our heads together, we can figure something out. It'll be crazy, but crazy is better than dead. Crazy is what we do best on this planet. <laughs> Human machine. Whew. One day you... Okay, topic number three. One day you discover that you are not a human being, but a machine. Your life so far was real. No one controlled you or programmed you to behave in some specific way. Your physical and mental capacities are, are identical to those of an organic human being. But you were created in a lab. No one expect you, except you knows about this. Your family, your friends, they all think you are a regular human being like themselves. You could continue to live your life the way you have before, and nothing would change. How do you react? Um, pay specific attention to these questions. Uh, pay specific attention to these questions. A. Does your concept of yourself change? Are you the same person you thought you were? B. Do you understand? Does your understanding of the world itself change? C. Do you reveal the information to others? Or do you keep it to yourself? Why? Uh, 1,500 to 2,000... Yeah, to 2,000 words. The 26 is the final deadline. No extension will be granted. Submit via email or... Okie doke. That's all of that. Alright. Okay, I think that's most of the secrets around here. Anyway, um, alright, so in the next episode, we'll head off and deal with these chest chambers. Um, until that time, though, this is MegaWizard79 bidding you all adieu.